On today's episode of the T3 Fit Scoliosis podcast, I have a very special guest. Um, she's near and dear to my heart, and I thought it would be of value to people who are listening to this podcast to hear my daughter's story with scoliosis and how it impacted her and to hear a little bit of what our relationship is. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not, but that's that's mother, daughter, that's being a parent. Um, but I've asked my daughter, her name is Tura, I've asked her if she would be interested in being a guest on the podcast and she said yes. So I'd like to, with the utmost respect, welcome my daughter, Tura, to the T3 Fit Scoliosis podcast. Tura, you're up. Yay. <laughs> um, why don't you tell the guests about your story with scoliosis and what you remember? I hated it. How do you, rem uh, do you remember how you, how we found out that you were diagnosed? Well, I was riding my scooter to Dwayne Reed on the rainy day, and I was trying to avoid somebody because they were in my way, and there was the subway grate, and I tried to turn, and my scooter slipped, and I fell, and I had a scratch on my leg, and then... And on your knee, too. A while after that, my back started to hurt from carrying my bag, and then we went to... The doctors got right. an x-ray and found out. Right. We went to the ER to get the x-ray, to get an x-ray to make sure that your ribs weren't broken or fractured because you were complaining about them hurting. And we saw the x-ray. And do you remember what I said to the doctor? No. I said, her spine is curved. And he said, yeah, you'll, you can talk to your doctor about that. I said, she has scoliosis. And... I asked him what he knew about scoliosis and he said, not a lot. And I said, well, let me tell you, I know a lot about scoliosis. And so we went to your orthopedic and they moved aggressively with you because of me and you got a brace and you started and you were given a prescription for exercises for the Schroth method. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Four to five days a week doing physical therapy every day for an hour. Pulling you out of school twice a week. Mm -hmm. Going to the physical therapist's office. But then we did it more than we did it seven days a week. Mm hmm. <laughs> If you can hear her mm -hmm, and you can imagine her face, it's the look of, I really didn't like doing it. But you did the physical therapy with the therapist twice a week and I pulled you out of school. We went to Columbia and uh, you did that. And then we continued doing it every single day. And when you got your brace, what did you do? Do you remember? You were on the swim team. I have to wear it 16 hours a day, and even when I was sleeping, and I can only take it off for four hours. And what did you do with it at swim? I left it in my locker. What else did you do with it? Well, I use swimming as a type of physical therapy. Well, you use the swimming for exercise, but what did you do with the brace? Do you remember? Do you remember I tried to make it fun? Sort of. So what well, What did your friends do with your brace? They wrote on it. That's right. They wrote all over it. Because your friends didn't know what scoliosis was and they didn't know what the brace was about. Mm -hmm. So we, we made it kind of cool. And then, so your curves, when you were first diagnosed, what were your curves? 1720, I think, or 1620. And then... After bracing and doing the exercises, what happened? I uh, went down to a 16, 20, I think. It went from, it was, you were first diagnosed with a 16, 20. Then it went to a 17, 22. 22. 
and then it went down to a six nine. Mm -hmm. And we continued with the physical therapy and that uh, for two years. And we went from the physical therapist up at Columbia, we transferred over to NYU and you had the physical therapist, Anita. Mm -hmm. She was great. And then you switched to Claire. And that was a two year long process. And how did you feel when it was done? Didn't have to deal with that anymore. Did you feel stronger? Maybe. <laughs> Just she will never say, my daughter will never say if she likes something to me. Her answer is maybe. So I'm not saying that she liked physical therapy, but I'm going to say that she liked the outcome of physical therapy. Sure. <laughs> But what else, what else did it give you? I mean, I remember when you were on the swim team and you guys had to work out. What, what happened? I corrected people. You, che you would check their form because you knew how to do things from doing physical therapy. Even before that, because you're a trainer. Okay. So you had like a win-win. Mm -hmm. Mom knows how to work with people and then mom worked with you which then gave you the opportunity to help your friends on the swim team. Mm -hmm. So it was your encouragement and your strength that you were able to share with your swim mates. Mm -hmm. and, and even now, I mean, it's been a couple of years, but even now, how do you, how do you feel about the experience that you had with scoliosis? It's never going away. But do you feel that it made you stronger? Maybe. <laughs> do you, you know, I'll never admit it. <laughs> do you feel that it made you emotionally stronger? Maybe. Do you feel that it gave you discipline? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you feel? Hated it. Okay. Every day. What did we do with your brace once it didn't fit anymore? I wish we threw it out. <laughs> we put it on Chewbacca. <laughs> what, what would you, if you knew somebody who had scoliosis, well, you do. Your friend who also swims, Sarah, what would you say to her? Do what you can so you don't end up like me. Well, and you weren't bad. Yeah. But what else would you say? What would you what, what would you like to share with people who who are your age, who have scoliosis, who might think like I can't do this or there's no hope or God this awful brace I hate it. I mean I do kind of have an inspirational quote. What is it? There's no such thing as a bad life, just a bad day. Where'd you get that from? A friend. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Say it again. There's no such thing as a bad life, just a bad day. Nice. That's a, that's really nice, Boo. Say it one more time for us. There's no such thing as a bad life, just a bad day. And that's it. There, there you have it. What else do you want to share with people? You want to say anything about me? No. But I hated having to wear a brace at school because I would get made fun of by it. Okay. Which you probably didn't know. I did not know that. I did not. That's why I tried to make it fun to have your friends write on it. Yeah. And then I had a hole on the left side and kind of as a tickle kind of thing they would jab their hands into my side as a tickling thing, but it bruised me. Okay, that I didn't know. I'm sorry. This was in high school? Freshman year. You're not friends with those people anymore, are you? No. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that, but, but thanks for sharing that here. 
So you see, you see, I what I think maybe not all kids, but but many kids they go through with the brace. When I had my brace, the Milwaukee brace, people would pull me by the back of the, the rods from the brace. Yeah. They would pull me, and I get made fun of, and it would put holes in my clothes. Um, but I didn't know that. But you've come out such a better person for it. And you're so much stronger. Maybe. <laughs> that means yes. No, it doesn't. And maybe it does. I'll never admit. <laughs> and you're just, you know, maybe there's there's one person listening, a mother or a father or a brother or a girl who's diagnosed with scoliosis, somebody, anybody, anywhere. But um, maybe they're listening to your story and they're saying like, oh my God, that's me, you know? And uh, maybe your voice can give somebody just a small amount of hope so that's, that's nice. Tell us one more time what you would say to that kid if they had, who would be diagnosed. The quote? Whatever you want. The quote, something else. It's your story. You'll eventually get through it, but it's not the end of the world. And what was the quote again? There is no such thing as a bad life, just a bad day. And anybody who's listening right now, what would you say to them? Keep trying. No such thing as can't. That's right. There is no such thing as can't. Because if you think about it, you're thinking about it. And uh, if you're trying, it means you're already doing it. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing it. So, um, boo. I. That's it. I'd like to say thanks. Thanks for coming on the T3 Fit Scoliosis podcast with your mom. You're welcome. It's, it's an honor for you to be on and uh, to share your story, you know, to share what, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you won't admit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for being a guest on the T3 Fit Scoliosis podcast. Mm -hmm.